made it to Bewley and we're here at our Airbnb and it's really cute it is um, I'll show you the little place the host is really nice and left us some goodies some of the stuff is ours but um, all this and they even have like local honey in here from their place which is super nice and some bread and this will be good to cook with we got a stove and here's some more like hot chocolate and things in a little kitchen. And then the bathroom looks nice too. Shower is a good size. And then the bed. And there's some storage in there for like hanging things and stuff. And then these are um, this view is really nice, but it's a little hot in here, so we've got those pulled down for now. But you can see it right here. They've got like a nice little seating area. Yeah, that view is really nice. And then, oop, there's a little place to, um, a little table for dinner. And then the little seating area. Nice little couch. So yeah, we just got into our Airbnb, and um, I think we're just going to kind of see what we're going to get into, um, and I'm not really sure what we're going to do yet. I think we're going to try to go to Loch Ness today because it's not very far away, um, but we'll see what we end up doing. So when Luke and I got to our um, Airbnb, we realized we were really, really close to Loch Ness, as I mentioned, and so we decided to come on, it was like 20 minutes away, and um, see Urquhart Castle, and it's been really nice to kind of like tour that and look around.
Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it was. A seal? Maybe one of the two. Hey guys, so today Luke and I drove to Aline Donan, um, this beautiful castle behind me, um, and it's so stunning. It was really, really busy on the inside, and you can't film or anything, so I filmed a little bit of just like the outside of what I could. Um, and I will say that um, we got here about, mm, I think, almost an hour after it opened, and we thought that it wouldn't be very busy, and we were very wrong. There's a lot of tour buses that come here, and so it's pretty busy, but it's good for like, you know, just touring and things, but, um, but yeah, it was really nice on the inside, and it was also like set up too. I kind of like it when castles are set up um, and like how the family would use them. They had like tables and things like in the ballroom and stuff um, and there was a few of those like kind of cheesy um, mannequins but not too many of those so it was really cool to kind of see like what the family would um, you know where they would eat and that kind of stuff in like bedrooms um, but now we're on the outside of it and there are some seals in the lock um, and it's really cool to just watch those and just walk around and see the, the beautiful area outside the castle. And also there's someone playing bagpipes behind me, which is amazing. That is so cool when you're in Scotland. You just hear someone playing bagpipes. <laughs> So Luke and I, um, we, so we toured the castle, which I already um, th think I filmed that part, but then we drove over to the Isle of Skye. We actually didn't realize how close we would be, and it was maybe um, like a 15 minute drive from the castle, so of course we decided to come over here really quick and um, just kind of walk around for a minute and before we started um, to head back to our Airbnb, but it is beautiful here. I wish we were a little bit closer to, to enjoy like even more of this, but it's really, really nice, so I'm excited to see this view down here. Um, that we decided to, we just pulled over and we're gonna like walk down to, I guess, the sea. Yeah. yeah. Another lock, eh? Or is it a lock? Uh, I think it's probably part of the ocean, but. Yeah. We don't know. So today has been our first down day, and only actually. <laughs> um, the squirrel. Oh, oh. Where is it at? On that pine right there. I mean, I saw it, but. I'm on the other side of the tree now. Sorry, got excited with the red squirrels because they're endangered, and that's why we've been seeing the um, caution or like break for squirrels and all the red squirrel kind of signage. 
Um, but anyway, so we've been, this is our first day we kind of took to be, uh, to rest a little bit, and this is our first, like, actual proper Scottish rainy day, and it's been really nice. That's, hence, the wet hair look, but, you know, we're rocking it. But yeah, so we just had like a really slow morning and then we went to, um, um, we had dinner and then we actually, so we had an early lunch and that was good. And then we went and found coffee and then we went to Bewley and kind of went around the town there. And then we got back to our Airbnb and now we are on an estate and doing an estate walk or just walking on the grounds of an estate. Um, so yeah, it's like lightly raining and it's very nice and relaxing. I'm excited to see um, the grounds. Yeah, but that's what we're getting into today. I've been wanting to pet his sheep since we got here and they always run away from me as soon as I get next to the fence. Which makes me sad. I want to be your friend. So today Luke and I are on a hike in the highlands and honestly we don't really know exactly where this is. It's kind of cool that here you can pull up on the side of the road and there's all sorts of trails um, just kind of going so pick your own trail kind of thing. Um, but it's really beautiful and yeah we're just going to kind of like keep on this trail and um, hike for as long as we want and that's what we're going to do today.
So today Luke and I are heading back, we're on our way back to Edinburgh, but we did a pit stop here at, um, I think it's Ardvacary Estate, and it's an estate that was used as like the filming location, it was in the Crown, it was also um, the estate in Monarch of the Glen, and some other things too. Um, and so we came here and we walked to the estate, but we didn't realize that the estate is technically private, but you can have access to the estate. So, the um, the, yeah, private. the estate house is private. Anyway, <laughs> so um, we've been walking on the road and um, it's been a really pretty walk, but yeah. So I was kind of hoping to be able to see the estate itself and enjoy that a little bit more, but it was still cool to see it, but I guess that's just part of travel sometimes is that things don't always go to plan. You don't always get to see everything, but that's okay. And so I think now we're gonna walk back to the car. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> we're gonna walk back and then I guess kind of meander our way down to Edinburgh. So yeah, it's our last full day here. It's really pretty area though, so that's nice.